Hello Unacademians, this is me Vignesh NP and I'm here to present the second lesson on biological classification of class 11th biology. So this is about me, my name is Vignesh NP and these are the extra details. You can follow me at Unacademy by hitting the link below. Introduction. So it was Carolus Linnaeus who proposed the two kingdom classification. The two kingdom just included plants and animals that is plantae and animalia. But you know most of the organisms did not fall into both categories so it was discarded. Then came the five kingdom classification which was proposed by R.H. Whittaker in 1969 and these included monera, protista, fungi, plantae and animalia. These are the five kingdoms in five kingdom classification. So let us learn about each of the kingdoms. First it will be kingdom monera. Here the sole members are bacteria and you know bacteria are the most abundant microorganisms. So it the Monera is grouped under four categories based on their shape. One is the spherical coccus, the comma, uh, the rod-shaped bacillus, the comma-shaped vibrium, and the spiral-shaped spirulae. Now you can classify this into two types: archaebacteria and eubacteria. Archaebacteria have a different cell wall structure than new bacteria so they can survive in even the harshest habitats example bacteria found in guts of cow which is responsible for production of methane now u bacteria is also known as the true bacteria they have a rigid cell wall and if motile they have a flagellum which helps them in moving point to be noted is mycoplasma is one of the genus of uh, bacteria which completely lack a cell wall and the smallest living cells known this is this is important as this is frequently asked in exams mycoplasma they lack a cell wall and are the smallest living cells known next is the kingdom protista the kingdom protista consists of all the single cell eukaryotes and they are primarily aquatic that is they are found in water and this is one of the examples of protista first chrysophytes they includes diatoms and golden algae which are also known as desmids they are microscopic and float in water diatoms have walls with silica and form diatomaceous earth it's very important in the exam point of view now next is dianoflagellates these have cell walls which have stiff cellulose plates and most have two flagella red dianoflagellates make c red that is sometimes they po they populate so very frequently or they reproduce so very frequently that it causes the red the tides to appear red in color the example for such a dianoflagellate is gonilax next is euglenoids instead of cell wall what they have is a proteinaceous pellicel now what is pellicel pellicel is a thin layer which supports the cell membrane they behave both as autotrophs and heterotrophs that is they can both produce food and they can also eat from others that is there can be heterotrophs also example euglena which was shown in the first diagram saprophytic that's the most important thing of slime molds these form aggregates called plasmodium and forms pores which are useful in harsh conditions that is they form spores and which are extremely resistant 
and they produce pores that's the highlight of slime molds next is protozoans these are heterotrophs and they are considered to be the primitive relatives of animals and they are divided into four groups amoeboid flagellated ciliated and sporozoans next we move on to the kingdom fungi kingdom fungi shows a great diversity from bread molds to mushrooms they are saprophytic in nature except yeast fungi are filamentous that they have filaments in them first is phycomycetes mycelium here is aseptate mycelium so what is mycelium mycelium is the vegetative part of a fungus consisting of a network of fine white filaments called hyphae and here aseptate means forms one long cell with many nuclei example rhizopus which is also known as bread mold next is ascomycetes these are also known as sac fungi and here mycelium is septate septate means they have divisions or dividers between cells example yeast is very common basidiomycetes here also mycelium is septate and example agaricus or mushroom next deuteromycetes here also mycelium is septate these are also known as imperfect fungi as only sexual phases of these fungi are known example trichoderma next we will learn about viruses viroids and lichens the peculiar thing about this is that these things don't have a place in the five kingdom classification of rsv taker but you know these things are in abundant nature viruses so what is virus these are non cellular organisms and they have an inert crystalline structure when they are outside of the host cell when they take over the host cell they take over machinery of the host cell to replicate themselves that's how viruses work and this is the structure of a virus head containing dna collar sheath base plane and tail fibers now next we learn about viroids these are smaller than viruses and how do we differentiate them they are smaller than viruses they lack protein coat of viruses and they have a lower molecular weight this thing is also frequently asked in exams the difference between viruses and viroids so please do learn about this next are lichens so what is a lichen you may have seen these formations near your home these are symbiotic association between algae and fungi the algae component is known as phycobiont and the fungal component is known as mycobiont so why do you need a symbiotic association here we all know that algae is a autotroph and it can produce food but fungi provides the shelter and absorbs minerals nutrients and water required for the production of food so that's how this symbiotic relationship works now moving on to our homework it's as always essential part of this chapter this first you have to do is learn more about carolus linnaeus who is also known as the father of taxonomy then find out more about diatomaceous earth learn about it because it's very important in the point of view of exams find the modes of reproduction of different fungi and find examples of different viruses please do the homeworks and if possible try to do it by today itself okay so please rate review and recommend my courses on an academy so that we can carry on this education revolution thank you thank you all